guys, what's up? We back with a review of the series premiere of Freeform's new show. It's like supernatural horror kind of. What is it called? Mystery. Mm, what is it called? Dead, Dead of, of Summer. Summer. We back with the series yes. premiere of episode one and then episode two because they put that out on Freeform. Freeform. So spoiler alert, if you don't want to watch episode, see about episode two on this video, then you better. But we will tell. No, we'll tell you. No. We're not doing episode two right now, though. So. We not? No, I mean, we gotta talk about the first part of the show. Oh, what are you Can we about? talk about episode two, though, too? Obviously. That's what you just said. Okay. Dead of Summer. It's in the 18, 1980s, school is out for the summer, and when Camp Stillwater's dark ancient mythology awakens, what was supposed to be a summer of fun soon turns into one of the unforgettable scares and evil at every turn. How amazing. So, it was created by Ian B. Goldberg, Adam Horowitz, and Edward Cassis. So, Adam Horowitz and the other, the co-creator co co actually co created Once Upon a Time, the show on ABC, mm -hmm. which the girl who played Amy on this show played Anna from Frozen on Once Upon a Time. And Adam Horowitz actually helped out with Complications, the show mm -hmm. we used to watch mm -hmm. on USA. It got USA. canceled. That's pretty sad. But let's get to the cast. So you got Deb Carpenter. She's shady. She's the whole camp leader lady. She's the camp director that she's opening up this new front the camp after it'd been closed down because it closed down in 1984 and it reopened in 1989. She's creepy. Elizabeth Leo, Amy Hughes, that's who she played. And the she new was there girl. before too, when, mm -hmm. before it closed down. Yeah. So Deb you know, was she got the dirt. Mm -hmm. Then Zelda Williams played Drew Reeves. I don't know if I should tell you right now, but you guys are probably seeing on the news about her character. Then no, what are you talking about? They got an article about her character. Who? I don't even know who you're talking about. Drew, the one that don't, don't talk to nobody, about. with the hoodie. Oh, okay. Yeah, they said she was transgender. Transgender. Yep. There you go. That's well, what it is. Didn't everybody know that already? Well, just looking at the show. I don't think so. They think she's a boy. Oh. All the people at the camp. I know. Call her a he. Yeah, but they didn't know I knew in the outside world. Us. I did it. When I saw. How could you not? Okay. Anyway, so then after that, Mark and Delicato, he played Blair Ramos. Which Al is? Blair, the gay guy. Okay. Then, Alberto Frezza, he played Garrett Scott Sykes, or Deputy Garrett Sykes. Okay, Deputy. He used to go to the camp, too. And, um, yeah, he used to go to the camp, too. And he's, like, his uh, kid love was braces. He was, he was towny because his dad is dead. His dad was a cop, and he would always get free stays at the camp. But then when mm -hmm. his dad died, he didn't go get free stays. So he just went back to the town he lived in. So... He was like all in love with this girl named Jesse Tyler, who probably in the same was in love with her. They was a little kid love, so they was. Well, I mean, it was just his first kiss and his first um, friendship bracelet and all that, but I don't think he was in love. With it her. was, he was a first child. Love. It was. Anyway, so Paulina Singer played her. She was braces. He was Tommy, and I guess they all, they all supposed to be around twenty two. I'm guessing twenty two years old, twenty two, twenty three. Because, um, what's his name? Alex Powell. He's 22. But really, his name is Alexei. I forgot what his last name was. Alexei. But it was something else. from Russia. Russia. Ronan Rubenstein play him. And can I say, his name is not Alex. It's Balix. Because he's amazing. He's a great actor. He's so amazing. His backstory was on fleek. I like him. I don't know how you think he's so amazing. He used people. He's so manipulative. <laughs> Manipulative. Then you got Eli Gorey. He played he Joe Goodso, who is always taping with his camera. Who right. Deborah is all like. I don't know what's face. going on with him and the camp director, leader, whatever her she is. He's like. But he's like they be getting now. close. I know, but it's it's a little. So it's like it'd be creepy though when. They, like she's standing there with the camera, and then she looking at him for a long time outside of her. I know she's then she shut it real quick. Like she's on a lot of movies too. Okay. So then you got Amber Coney. She played Carolina Diaz or a Cricket, mm -hmm. and you know she was like writing stuff on the walls, like saying she was a horrible person, all that. That she was sleeping with everybody at the camp and all that. Then you had Blotter or Jason was his name. Zachary Gordon played him. I was like, who is that kid? I know what he looked like. I freaking look him up. That's the boy from Diary of a Wimpy Kid. I'm like, whoa, he got about? big. The guy who was the guy on the second episode, he had to leave. Okay. 
He's from Diary of a Wimpy Kid. He's the wimpy kid on Diary of a Wimpy Kid. I was like, that's so crazy. Oh, and then you have Margot, because she was in episode one. Morgan Taylor Campbell play her, and then you got the share of Charles Measure play him. Her. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's pretty much everybody. Yep, okay, now let's get into the show. So, it started off in a creepy place. Um, this black this man. The show started, started off in 1891. It was this black man playing the piano. Then all these white men came running in with these guns. And they was like, where are all those people? Where are the people? Where are the people? And he was still playing his piano. They were trying to rip him from his piano. And then it was a whole bunch of dead bodies that drowned. And it was blood all in the lake, mm -hmm. all face down. They was doing a ritual. It's wrong. Oh, sorry. You said that on purpose. They was doing a ritual, some kind of ritual, and they were sacrificing themselves, apparently. Yeah, so then they skipped a f I was going to say a few years. They skipped like a hundred years later. Summer in 1989, three days until camp opens, they said, Amy was literally scared by Joel, and he was all laughing and stuff, because they was about to get on this bus in this creepy place. Then, you know, Alex and Jason sold up, and then Blair showed up, and then everybody else started showing up. So then... And who was it? Amy? She knew. Was her? Who? The blondie. Oh, yeah, the new girl? Yeah. Amy. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, Amy's new. She haven't, she never been to the camp before. Yeah, Amy's new. Everybody else's childhood friends. Yeah, they've they been, been split at the apart. camp. Yeah, they've so then... They've all been to the camp before and grew up. Yeah, like a lot of times. Oh, every summer. Oh, yeah, every summer. It's still, I, it's still it closed down in 84. Mm -hmm. So then, you know, Jesse came and she was all like, oh, I'm new and improved. And she was all being sassy and whatnot. So, you know, then it showed four months earlier, flashback time. It was Amy's mom. And Amy's mom was like, I want you to fit in. I want you to succeed. So then she was like, you always tell me that. You always tell me that I'm going to fit in and do all this and that. So I guess she's been having problems with that. So then they went back to the present past time, which I call it a past present time because it's not present. It's present on the show. It's That's present. the present time on the show. Anyway, so it was Camp Stillwater. Right. And then they was like, um, I was like, you would never see me going there to no freaking camp because you know what happened at camps? A lot. Of I don't know. People really love camps. I know, but it's like. I'm trying to be out. Why would you send your kids to some camp? But in the middle of the woods, I mean, people, people do that know. and they love it, you know. Anyway, so then Drew came and then it was like, you know, welcome, but you can't smoke here, so you gotta put that out. It's like, Debbie, it's like the she nature there from I don't know where. I was like, Debbie, you need to chill. It's the air, we in nature. What do you want? Think, what's she gonna, well, she's gonna burn down the cabin? Oh, I guess so. Okay, makes sense. Makes sense. Should yeah. I be saying he? Yeah, he. Well, is she transgender? Well, I don't know. No. I didn't read the article. Yeah. So, say what it is, guys, in the comments below. Then, you know, Debbie was like, I used to be here. So, I guess she was there when they was kids, too, because they knew her. Yeah. They, she must have been a counselor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so now they come into the camp to be counselors for the new kids that's coming because mm -hmm. the camp finally opened it back up. So, I don't are they getting paid for this? Or are they just, I think they're just counselors. They're just doing it just for the fun of it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Because they don't have to have nothing else to do. So then, you know, Amy saw a rat was caught in a rat trap. So then she freed the day. No, actually they heard it. They heard it. Everybody like, heard it. They was like, what is that? So Amy <laughs> let it go. And then Dave, the creepy janitor man, was like, ah, this is my grouse. I'm the gardener. And it was like, I see Dave is still creepy. Because Dave been there. Oh my God, he's so stupid. And she was like, Amy that rat thing better not get into my clothes. Oh, girl. I oh, don't yeah. know why his name. Yeah. So then it was flashback time again for Amy. She started a new school and her family situation kind of changed. So um, that's not what happened. Because we, we, I think I, we found out what happened later on in the episode. Mm -hmm. But she's like, I said her situation has changed. So then the girl that was there at the school gave her some advice, you know, be okay, but, you know, stay away from Margo and that other mean girl. But then her and Margo ended up being partnered together. So then that other girl was like, oh, well, I think we should switch because I don't even bother when I know your name. So I was like, shut up. So anyway, they ended up talking to each other and stuff. And they was talking about water, H2O. And then she broke a beaker. And it was, she was all like, ah! And everybody was like, be quiet. It's like a beaker. I don't know why it broke, though. Okay. Anyway, so then they was back in the present time. She was loosening up more. Cricket was, like, teasing her and stuff. And then... Yeah, she was being mean I at know. first. Cricket was. Mm -hmm. I she guess was like, she was the new girl. Everybody was being mean to her. Yeah, she was the new girl. And then Drew, they See, was like... that's what happens at camp. See? Then they never saw Drew there before. It's like, I never saw Drew here before. I never seen Drew here before. That's what everybody kept Unless saying. Unless they forgot. It was just some kid uh -huh. that they didn't remember. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So then they all started smoking weed 
And then, you know, they started about, talking about Satanists, and I was like, okay. And then Joel started being mean, saying any one of us can get killed up in here. We can all die at any minute. So then Alex was like, dude, please stop. Leave Amy alone. So then they was like, oh, um, Amy, you it. Because everybody was like, not it to go get wood. And the dumb heifer went and got wood. Oh, uh, and she, first she got oh, freaking yeah. scared by a freaking deer, bruh. And then... A deer, bruh? A deer, bruh. I don't know what that is. A deer, bruh. It was a deer slash zebra. I don't know what she's saying. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> that's when she went in the woods and saw that that the deer was gutted no, open. That she saw that deer. Oh, okay. No. So that's then the deer she saw, she saw and then the tire swing and it was like hitting yeah. the street. And Dave scared of like he was like, You don't belong here, you need to leave here. This long you stay, the worse it'll be. So then they all got up in the morning and stuff. Deb was like, Y'all gotta come on, we gotta clean up, we gotta be more days to open. So then, you know, Joel started taping and Deb was in her window with no shirt on. And just her bra, and she was looking at him, like, all like this. She was looking at him, he was looking at her. I know, that he was like, he was like, looking like, okay, <laughs> what, me, huh? And then she was looking at him, then he left. So then she was like, what the heck? And it was just really a lot of time, stuff going on. Then Jesse and Cricket, I guess they used to be besties when they was kids, but now they're not, because, you know, Jesse looked more, be much more better than Cricket, she thought. So, you know, she's all sophisticated now, a lot of trendy. Oh, they yeah, don't really have she 80s used clothes to be on. Brace, brace face, she used so. to be braces. So then now she don't have the braces no more, you know? Then I'm that's shocked she even came back to I the know, camp. Like, probably Because she wanted to get back, get, what's his name back? Oh. Townie. That was his nickname. Townie. No. That was, that was his nickname. Townie. No, not Townie. Blondie, boy. Alex? Yeah. Oh, she, I thought she came to get Townie back. I think she came for Alex, too, though. She probably came for both. Because she was mad that he... Was interested in Amy. This she was mad that Townie was interested in Amy. Yeah, but maybe she's just mad at Amy in general. in general. Anyway, so Jesse found a deer, gutted like it was a rat from New York that ratted on the whole family. It was like it looked. It was bad. It was like it was good. All the insides was out. The heart was ripped out, Everybody and you know too. it was like okay. So Deb was like, "Well, it's probably Hunter." And Joel was like, "Who hunts and not take the corpse, the caucus?" Then she's like, "Oh, calm down." I was like, "Okay, first of all." You weird. Then that, Amy was like, oh, Dave, Dave's in the, uh, Dave was acting weird. So she's like, oh, Dave's going to clean it up. He's just Dave. He's a little off. How is Dave going to clean that up? I don't know. First of all, what he's going to do with it. That. Well, that's his job, though, to keep all the landscape clean and get all of the rodents away from the... Okay. the, the, the where yeah, she said clean up a gutted deer. So yeah, I'm shocked that they even told the police about that. I, I thought know. they was gonna I thought it was gonna be dumb, like they was gonna be seeing stuff mm -hmm. and all that and creepy stuff nothing. was gonna happen and they wasn't gonna say nothing. Yeah. yeah. So then they did a little flashback time again. Amy was sitting with her friend Margo, because now Margo had with besties and stuff, and Margo actually wanted to go. No, no, Margo was being friends with her, like sitting down at what sitting at the table talking about the, you know, project they had to yeah, do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then Mark the girl the other girls being mean to her wanted her Amy to give a card to her other friend that was there yeah. that caught her no pigs allowed to the party. So she was like, I'm not about to do that. So she just went and sat at another table. Yeah, she's like, oh, girl, yeah. I'm going to mm -hmm. somewhere else. But then Margo came over and was like, oh, hey, what's up? You know, we're going to be friends. So they ended up being friends. And Margo actually wanted to go to Camp Stillwater. And she wanted to go there. But her parents wasn't going to approve. But they was going to go anyway. So she's like, you got to be scared to do something, Amy. You got to push yourself to go do something that she was scared of. Yeah, well, actually, yeah, Amy is the one who didn't want to go. Yeah, Amy didn't want to go. Margo wanted to go. I'm just like, oh, Jesus Christ. Well, she did push her to be scared. Anyway, so it was back to the present time. Amy wanted to go, you know, talk to Drew. And it was like, oh, well, Drew don't talk much. And it was like, what? Eh. So then they just didn't, they, she just wasn't talking to him. So it was like, okay, they're just going to leave Drew over there while they go and socialize and smoke weed. So I don't know why. They're going to go swimming. Knowing that they found a freaking gutted deer, then they just thought, you know, Jesse was like, "I like put your clothes back on, Jesse." She was like, "You know, it's a legend about Lake Still Still Water. If you lo stare long enough, the water will." She said, "The water will do something." I can understand because she was making that silly voice when she was walking backwards. But they did that, and then Cricket was, you know, try, she wasn't gonna take her clothes off, but then she didn't take her clothes yeah. off, so then she got like a little self, like self issues. Mm -hmm. Then, you know, Joel was taping for some reason, like... Because he, he got taped the whole summer, Lena. 
He got me tipped the he whole time. He saw a freaking old black man's face on his camera. Yeah, I know. Behind Amy. Like, he just thought he was saying stuff. And so then, by the time Amy got into the water, she went... Oh, she got pushed it, mm -hmm. pulled her in. And then... Day's body surfaced. It and was then, disgusting. shockingly, they called the police. I know. I was like, hello, deputy. And I was like... <laughs> so it's like it's a terrible accident. The dead deer's heart was ripped out. The deputy was like being all hard and stuff. He said, like, "We gotta find something." The sheriff's like, "Bruh, don't scare them. Chill." Yeah, so but he was like, "No, it's something I wrong. Know. Something going on." I know. I gotta go figure it out. Mm -hmm. That's what he he's like all up in it. I like. know he is. And Blair was like, "I'll let him handcuff me." So they were like, "Okay, anybody that's your type is not Blair. You just have to see where everybody come in." So anyway, Joel was like, "Somebody's dead. We need to all stop acting like it's nothing." Yeah, Deb was just like, oh, oh, ho, let's go to bed, guys. We got a camp to open. And it's a dead body. A day. I know. He was like, what would he, what would he, how would he accidentally drown after all these years of being here? What? 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 Like, they didn't know? Didn't they didn't, they, they, they should have left. Care. They should have left. It's a, if it's a dead body. They should have never opened. A, a vest, an investigation going on. Why wouldn't you leave? Like... Somebody died. Somebody physically died. What? Dave is dead. He's Nobody dead. cared about like, Dave, he's but he's dead. Okay, let's get off of that. Yeah, so then Jesse saw Amy talking to the deputy, and she was all like... <sighs> then, you know, Jesse, um, t uh, townie boy told Amy that he, about his little childhood with braces and him and all that. So she was like, mm -hmm. what? Really? So then, you know... She when she caught up with him, she was gonna get water, then Cricket was like, Don't get axe murdered. The dumb heifer went and got water. Her life freaking blew out. So then she got scared by Townie Boy and then it was like, Oh well, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go investigate. So they went to his cabin. Why did she go I don't know. Him? They she went was to Dave's to go cabin. Home. Wait, first of all, when I was watching that, she was like, Well, I came from this way and then he was like, Well, don't you know it's a shortcut? And then I thought he was taking her back to her cabin. Me but then to Dave. they ended up going to Dave's cabin. That was weird to but me. But he knew, he knew the shortcut because he was a kid. Because he went there. So. But he was trying to go and to he didn't Dave. even have nobody's, no, his no outfit on, his no police officer uniform. I don't know. So then they went inside. And you saw how he yanked off the branches, though? That was us. <laughs> the dead. He's like, the tree is dead. And then they went inside. And then they was like, ooh, what's this? And then she was like, oh, it's nothing here. And he was like, nothing in plain sight. What is he? He's too smart for that town. I know he, he is. That's because he's, he's not from there. He's like, nothing in sight. So he went back there and opened this thing, door. and then the, the wall opened up, and then it was the pictures mm -hmm. of the people from the beginning of when the show first mm -hmm. started. The, the little devil, satanic stuff, potions, and witches and stuff. Oh, and didn't I mention well, that the trees was bleeding? Yeah, rituals type, type stuff. The so trees she, was bleeding. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That was too much. So then, yeah. you know, they saw fingers and skulls, a white man, and then a black, the black man with his head cut off. So I'm guessing the black guy was probably a slave. That's what I thought. I guess. And he those white men that guy. was attacking him, they th the white people thought he killed all those white people. How? That's the, I was. That's the, it was irrational back then. Anyway, so yeah, so then the deputy... The deputy took the pictures, but then the freaking fire broke out like like nobody was somebody watching. Somebody came and lit the place on fire with somebody them inside of it. Or something. The devil. I don't think this is related to the devil. No, it's some it's an entity there. A, it's a satanic entity. Somebody came and lit them that came and lit them on fire. Okay. The trees was bleeding, Mila. No, I know, but you keep saying the devil, but it's not it's a dead guy. He want people to find out what happened to him, I think. The black oh, guy. He kept sense. telling the kids to come find me, find me. Or somebody else is going to die. And stuff. He's talking about the devil. I'm like, what you talking about? So it's a ghost. When they, and I mean, they was doing like cult type stuff, like rituals and sacrifices and all this kind of stuff. So then, yeah, the he caught on fire, and he was like, get out of here. So then he got trapped in a little corner, and then I thought he, he was going to die. He wasn't letting go of those pictures. I thought he was going to die, but then Amy, she, like, well, she was a quick banker, I, I guess. Know. And then she got the axe and started hacking on the other side. And I'm like, whoa. I thought she was going to be stupid and be like, how? I know. Oh, but she really worked I on know. it. So then the popo was there. The deputy was like, the deputy's in trouble, basically. The sheriff's like, oh, you shouldn't have went there without your outfit on. So then he's like, look. Without your yeah, outfit Yeah, on. and he was like, it, it was just wire in trouble. So then the deputy was like, look at this. You see this map? You want to turn this map upside down, see it look like a beast? 
it was like a freaking and then beer at the heart, heart of it is, is the cow. And yeah, but then Deb dug up the little box. That's what everybody was looking for. When did she do it? Why did she go do that? Because she found probably she... saw the map too. Because when she saw him later on in the episode, she saw the map in his hand. She noticed it. So she probably got the exact same maps from somewhere. And she dug it up. She, that's why she opened up the camp again. Mm -hmm. Then anyway, she was like, oh, which is a suicide. Dave was a suicide. Like, why would Dave even kill himself? Then Joe was like, okay, um, yeah, he should. He probably didn't kill himself. What is, y'all, like, Joe had sins, but he didn't leave. So he was just stupid like the rest of them. So Amy was like, you know, she told them about the pictures that they found mm -hmm. and all the death portraits. So they was like, oh, it's probably from the Victorian era, era and stuff like that. And it's like, what you know about the Victorian era? Like, what you, you doing cold stuff? Like, what? You know, but they didn't investigate enough. Then Drew saw a freaking little girl outside the window and didn't even say anything. Anyway, so he don't say much. Though. It was too much. So then Joe started telling them about the Wicker Man story, and it was all like, mm. and but they was like they didn't have time for that. So they, it, they the lights shut off. The lights freaking shut off when Jesse's mom called. Mm -hmm. She's like, tell him I'm not there. You shouldn't have said that. The lights freaking shut off, and it's like, oh, somebody has to go press the breaker. So not it. Yeah, so it was like, Hi, got you it. gotta do it. <laughs> so then Jesse was like, oh, it's camp tradition. Amy gotta go, the new girl. And, but, you know, Cricket wanted to go with Alex because Cricket liked Alex. So right. it was like, yeah. Then Alex went, and Amy was got all scared by a little rat. Again, by a rat. She got scared. This time started before. So they was all laughing and stuff, and he was about to kiss her, but then he was like, no. She's like, no. And he's like, okay, that's cool. I was like, gentlemen, gentlemen, okay. Then... She started freaking out because she saw Margo. Margo mm -hmm. and Amy. This is what happened. And this went back to flashbacks. Flashback. Margo and Amy were talking. Right. They was getting all dolled up. They, they was about to go to a party, party that was not supposed to be going And then how Mar Margo's mom came in all flipping out. Like, they, she, they, she didn't even know where they was going. She was like, it doesn't matter. They wasn't supposed to be going people. nowhere. So then they they went to the party they snuck on Amy's like we gotta be Amy started doing that you gotta be scared you gotta do this you gotta do this so then Margo's like no she just, well my mom just said so then they went to the party mm -hmm. cause she was her mom was telling her you're not gonna have no future if somebody see you drunk mm -hmm. if the police raised some party the party that you had and all that stuff so then Amy encouraged her to go she was like no look I'm gonna go to camp with you if you go to this party with me so mm -hmm. then they went to the party they was having a good old time then the police raided it and she was like oh my god she started flipping Margo out flipped she started out. flipping out she was like see my mom was right I told you blah, blah, blah. so they went in the room knocked this up in there the police was knocking on the door like get up out of there and then they was then she freaked out and tried, was jumping where was she gonna go I out know. the window they was upstairs so she went out the window and then fell Amy had her hand Amy like caught her and then that's what they kept flashing mm -hmm. of Amy's with hand bracelet. like that with the bracelet. That and then had, no. the dead hands coming to get mm -hmm. her. Those are the people that was in the lake. Yeah, though. the dead hands coming to get her when it was mm -hmm. she was having seeing visions. And stuff. Yeah, so Margo died. Um, it wasn't Amy's fault. It was Mark. Well, Mar well, well, it was Amy's fault. Cause well, she it wasn't. Okay. She encouraged her to go to that party and all that. So you could, in a way, you could say it was it's half, half the blame. It's like that movie we watched but on Netflix. Margot, you know, I mean, she had to have her own kind of sense mm -hmm. and not freaking jump out a window or not go to a party that she knew she wasn't supposed to be at. So, yes. Yeah, so anyway, like yeah, that's when she freaked out in those clothes and stuff. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Alex was trying to help, but she was like, get away from me. So I was like, he was just trying to help. You and you got to act on, like, <clears throat> Anyway, so nobody nobody told a, a nobody about that situation. It was just like, oh, okay. So then Deb was like, we're going to open up. Yay. Then the deputy came back talking to her. And she's like, oh, what are you doing here, deputy? And that's when she noticed his little map. Jesus Christ. He was like, I'd rather, so be, I'd rather be right. I'd rather be wrong than to say something, but not say nothing at all and be right. So he wanted to create a panic. He was like, ooh, ooh, ooh. I mean, they should have They left. should have left. That's the bottom line. Yeah, so then Jason was like, if I was alone with you, I would run away too, Alex. I was like, really? Okay. Anyway, so then it was like, oh, well, Amy's probably on a bus home because she's crazy. They eating freaking dirty, warm milk cereal because I know they don't got no refrigerator there. I know it for well, a fact. they have a shower. So, you never know. But the yeah, Amy was, sitting out, Amy was sitting out on the rocks or something by that old water mm -hmm. with Margot's yeah. bracelet and yeah being all sad then she saw Dan Margot again and was running away and you know that's when deputy man caught her and was like it's okay it's okay it's okay it's okay then 
after that whole situation, she was like, I couldn't say something. Deputy was like, it's okay, you can't beat yourself up about it. She was like, oh, okay, well, that's she cool. She ran a lot. She ran. She's like, oh, okay. She ran okay. so much. That's cool. Then she just, like, forgot about that whole situation and got in the wire. Like, you didn't just flip out. And it, it wasn't even that big of a drop that Margot did. They used a green screen for that scene. Yeah, I saw that. I, it they ruined it. It wasn't me. even a big of a they drop that Margot did for her to die. They ruined it. No, it was, there was two stories in it. It was on the second floor. Can we speak this up? Because yeah. really long. Yeah, so, um, Deb got the box. We already know that. Um, right. She was being recorded by Joel, but then she closed someone that was like, Ugh. So, I guess she don't like him no more, I thought. No, then she still do. Then, Alex's clothes aren't his. He stole them from a dry cleaner. He didn't steal them. Oh, he didn't steal them. Oh, Drew came to the shower room, and, you know, you, it was revealed that she was born a girl. Because she, she took off her jacket and stuff, and she had, like, her stuff on no, it. Cause, like, she had when we first came, though, to the camp, I didn't think I was a boy. I thought it was a girl. In the first place. I thought it was a boy. Oh, I thought it was a girl in the first place. I thought place. it was a boy until I saw it as Zelda Williams was playing. I thought she was a girl, girl in the first girl. place. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. So I then, didn't know that they were trying to make the character look like a boy. That was weird to me. Because then I was like, oh, that's a girl anyway. I mean, I, I didn't know that was supposed to be like a reveal moment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I didn't know it. Because I figured it out. So then, you know, that's when Jesse and Townie met up together. It's like, Joe, uh, braces? And it's like, Townie? Because she already knew him. Yeah, but he was he like... Was like she was like, don't you remember me or whatever. And then she got mad because he didn't remember. Like, how does he remember me? She's so anyway. problematic. So then it was a whole bunch of blood in the water that was disgusting. And they was watching a video that Joel made. And they all left and left the video that Joel made on a freaking TV. And they zoomed up on it and it was the man, black man standing back there. Because he was looking for it. He was mm -hmm. looking for what he saw. But then, you know, mm -hmm. he just forgot about it. Yeah, so then in episode two, it was in the Soviet Spoiler year. alert! If you don't want to know about episode two, if you did not see it yet, if you're waiting for it to come on Freeform on Tuesday, then you should probably skip about three minutes. Yeah. So, it was the Soviet Union in 1977. This boy was playing the piano and his parents were taking him to America. So they was like, okay, Alexei... His parents said, go say goodbye to your grandpa. So the grandpa He's was like... He's too old to travel. Yeah, so then the grandpa grabbed his hand and was like, if you want something, you're going to have to take it. And gave his grandson a, you know, switch knife. So he's like, okay. So then, it was summer 1989. Alex is Alexi. Yeah. And they show, they show little flashbacks and clips and stuff of when Ale Alex's dad, he was working at these dry cleaners. Yeah. And, you know, the boss was being so mean at him and the customers was calling him all these racist Russian things, these terms and stuff. So then Alex saw that firsthand. So then the, the boss is telling his dad, oh, you can't be, you can't have a Russian name. You're going to have to change your name to something else. He was like, change it to Alan or Alex or something. You have to change something it. Something that I can yeah. pronounce and go clean up some stuff. You're going to be here. You're going to work. Yeah. So then later on in the episode, they showed that. Alex, he started. He you know, grew up. He grew up. He changed he into back. Alex Powell. He came back. He's like, oh, I want a job here. So he's like, okay, that's cool. And he's like, okay. So then he like built up a good relationship mm -hmm. with the boss. But he was stuff. like, yeah. He looked at his picture. He was like, I see you have a a nice family there. And he was like, you really do have the American dream. And he knew that. He always said that. So he's mm -hmm. like, do I know you? Mm -hmm. And he was like, not no. We're not yet. Yeah, he said not yet. He was crazy. Yeah. So then, just to like skip ahead. He was on one night, he just got the night off, and then Nadia was still was working, and she looked really sad. She, like, looked sad at him. So then he came back in, he went in the, in on the recorders and saw that on the, on the videotapes in the yeah. boss's room, Nadia and the boss was sleeping together. So, he was like, what? So he started recording. So then him and Nadia hatched a plan, because clothes was went missing, and Nadia hadn't been working in, like, a week. So then the boss assumed that she was still in clothes. Yeah. Until him and Nadia hatched a plan. He was speaking Russian to her. He was like, Nadia, we gotta do this. So, he went up to the boss. He was like, boss, in his nice, clean-cut clothes. Boss, um, this is my last date. And he's like, I knew you did it. I knew you did it. He's like, Before. Yeah, because he had the clothes that <laughs> had been taken. Oh. Those, those wasn't his clothes. Those are the clothes that been missing. they are missing. So... Eventually, he was like, um, I'm going to call the police. He's like, okay, if you call the police, now you're going to go into your house with your wife and your kids and show them that video y'all sleeping together. So he's like, that's extortion. He's like, okay, I'll keep Naya quiet if you give me free clothes from here. And Naya got to get her job back so she can get her citizenship. Yeah. So he was like, huh, huh. Then he was like, you got a deal? He's like, they had a deal. So that's where he got his clothes from. Yeah. And he did that for Naya, too, because mm -hmm. he knew that the owner guy was using her mm -hmm. just for that. And he was probably going to fire her and then she wasn't going to get her citizenship if yeah. she didn't have a job so yeah so he, he saved the day in a way he saved the day so jason knew about he was like um i know you still close because 
He's like, I know you he still saw the tags. He saw the tags. And he's like, Why no, wouldn't he I cut the tags him. off before he got there? I know. That's what I was like. He was like, okay, I get my clothes dry clean. Ha, ha, ha. Then he was like, no, this, your name wasn't on the tag. He was so chill about it. He was like, no, your name wasn't on the tag. He was like, okay, whatever. I'm going to keep your secret. You're going to keep mine. Because I bought weed from the boy in the woods. That's not supposed to be selling mm-hmm. drugs. No. How did he get there? Is that camp just like... It's accessible because it was the day it was opening. It was the day that they was opening. And the black man was standing there while the bus went past with all the kids. So all the kids came. And it was like, yay! All the kids were there. And they was playing with the kids. Then there was this boy named Anton. And he was Russian too. So when that boy came and Alex saw him, I guess Alex immediately knew, I think. He was Russian. Because when he looked at him, he looked at him a certain way. And then when he saw No, because he was like, he wasn't talking to nobody yeah. or nothing like that. Yeah, so then when the kid, the other kid started picking on him, like, Anton, what kind of name is that? Anton, what kind of name is that? He realized that the boy was Russian. And uh, they was all messing with him because of his name. So that's when Alex, he resonated with that. Because he was told when he was a kid, you probably should change your name or something. Yeah, I don't see why he didn't stop the kids I know. before. Yeah, so then he went up to Amy and he was like, yeah, um, you, that boy better change his name before he gonna get his butt kicked in America. So then Amy was like, you're a jerk. So he's like, I didn't mean it like that. He should explain this. He should explain this. But then, yeah, Anton was over there talking to the black guy. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm sure he have a name, but I don't know. He's like, I was talking to the tall man. So then Alex was like, if you don't get your raggy butt back to that playground, I don't know who you think you're talking to. There's nobody over but here. But he thought he was talking to the drug dealer. That's what Alex thought he was talking to the drug dealer. Then everybody everybody noticed that Deb was looking at Joel a certain way. Nobody said anything. They was like, isn't she like as old as your mother? Yeah. <laughs> and Cricket keeps, um, you know, side-eyeing Jason because Jason like her. But Cricket like Alex. So it's like, they lost to Anton too. So it's like, okay, if you do that again, then... You're going to get in trouble. Then Anton was having a horrible dream. He started getting burned. It was a burn mark on his arm. It he said, said, find me. me. Jesus freaking Christ. So he's like, oh, it's okay. It's okay. And then after that, he went and drew mm-hmm. a painting of the tall mm-hmm. man and where to find him where his body was buried. Mm-hmm. And he said, come find me. Yeah. So then eventually, though, those drug dealer guys... I don't want to call them drug dealer guys. Anyway, the drug dealer guys, they came. It, I don't know how they found the body. But they came, I don't know. They they came, came and, and got the body after old boy dug it up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because, it, because they lost Anton again when they was playing outside in the dark. Because they was going to go raid Cricket's place. Cause yeah. Jason to kill the him. tall man told Anton to come into the woods with him. So he went and then he he took him to where his body was buried. So then they was all scowling around trying to find him. Then they finally found him. But meanwhile, Amy and oh boy, Alex, Alex they, they was all was together, together. together on a little date or whatever. He's like, I never saw this cabin before, and this cabin is new. And it, it was the piano that the black man was playing on. So he started playing on the piano, and then he started having visions of that his That was weird, though, because it wasn't new, though. It was old. It was old. But he's like, all, out of all this time he'd been there, it was... That's it's there. weird. Yeah. So then, you know, they started talking stuff. So then Amy's like, I was worried about you, blah, blah, blah. But then she started liking him. They wasn't a kiss until Jason busted in, like, I lost the kid. I lost Anton. Mm-hmm. Let's go find Anton. Yeah. So they found Anton, like, sitting there or whatever, talking. And then... The head lady, she was like, y'all gonna get in trouble. Somebody's gonna pay for this. One of y'all is leaving. Um, the police came. He was like, somebody took that boy. They kidnapped that boy yeah. from the and took him into the woods and sent him over there and stuff. Yeah, the so, deputy already assumed the drug dealers. Yeah. Cause the, 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 tra- the tall guy, Jamie, yeah. he already thought, because he's like, you got that little satanic necklace around your neck when it was in the diner with his mom. He was being way too he- judgy. Yeah, so <laughs> but they anyway, already him, so. Yeah, so of course Alex he does do anything to get what he want. So when the other guy Ty grew up. Oh, Ty grew up. <laughs> his told him. So when the other guy left, he he had the bottle with acid. He, no, but he drank out of a bottle. I know, he had baby bottle. He drank out of a baby bottle. So right the other guy what is his name? Alex Jason. Jason is the the guy Alex's has, best friend? Yeah. Okay, so Jason, remember he bought drugs from the drug? He bought drug. weed acid. Yeah, and acid, even though he don't do acid. And so, he don't even smoke weed that much. He smokes yeah, like he, cereal. And, and he, he don't still inhale. Play Dungeons and Dragons. Like he, he don't plays. inhale. So he just trying to be cool. So yeah, he, he did that and all that. And then 
fast forward to when Alex put liquid acid into his juice. So Jason came back and was drinking his juice. Oh, and like then he got messed up. Uh, like so he, his face started crawling. Stuff started crawling in his face. He was looking at the mirror. It Alex started having a hallucination and all that. So he ran into the woods. And he saw the tall the man. black man. He's like, come, he find, like, come me. find me. So you need to be joyful. No, no, no. He saw... Anton and Anton said, Go find him, go yeah. find him. Then he saw Tom Hanks like, Come find me. So he went into the woods and he started digging. Then he found his body. So I don't know how the drug dealer people did they see that or something? They, probably saw they it. was sitting around mm-hmm. there because that was their favorite spot. So they probably saw him dig that up. Then they took the body. And he was like, Oh, the kid was right. Yeah. And then Alex told on him to Deb. So then Deb was like, look at your eyes. You got to get up here and get up here at 9 in the morning. So the drug dealer guys, they got the body. Well, I don't think they drug. Well, yeah, they are drug dealers because they can weed. Anyway, so they got the body. It's like, okay, it's time for, I know, that's what time, I like, Why am I calling time the for the ritual to begin. That's what they was like. Then they all had to say goodbye. They had to say goodbye to, you know, Jason. Jason. Then Jason was like, Alex, how, how am I your buddy? It's like, Jason, how, are, how am I your buddy when you freaking told on me you did this and this and this and you bet it on me? No, he drugged him. And he drugged him. He knew he drugged him, too, and I'm glad he knew. Like, on this show, I thought they was going to be stupid, but he knew he drugged him, and I'm glad he knew that he drugged him because he knew he didn't put no no trust in that because he don't even do acid. So he was like, no, I'm not giving you no handshake. I'm not hugging you. I'm not saying goodbye to you, whatever. So then, yeah, and he was like, oh, yeah, and congratulations on a girl. Then he gave yeah. him $50, so that he was a hundred, him. A fake hundred, it was like. Oh, it was 50 because he owned 50 but he yeah. outed him. That's how he outed him. And he was like, <laughs> yeah. So the cricket was like, yay. And then Jesse was like, huh, I was right, but let me take this money, though. So then after that, you know, I don't know why they didn't have no new car pick him up, but Jason got kicked out. His parents are in Europe fought until August. So he was walking down the street and saw the tall black man. He was like, oh my God. He turned around. He's like, oh my God. Oh my God. No. So I guess the drug dealer is my like, got him or something, you know? Sacrifice. He showed him something, I think. The tall man. To make him turn around, and he showed him something, and I wonder what it was that he showed him. Then Alex was helping Anton out. He was like, "Okay, I know kids." He started speaking Russian to him. He's like, "You speak Russian too?" He's like, "Yeah, I speak Russian too." So then he started helping him. He's like, "Okay, well maybe you should change your name to Tony because the kids gonna keep messing with you." So he made some yellow water mixture, and he was like, "Put this on a boy's bed so it may look like they peed on themselves." And then he's like, "Alright, we're gonna get Tony." He's like, "Give me our little secret." And he was like, "I got a secret with the tall man too." He brought that up again. I was like, I thought we was uh, then discuss not to How talk about that. How is he not him? gonna talk about that? But everybody's seeing stuff and nobody's like saying, saying nothing. nothing. So now it's like Jesse and everybody else is starting to see stuff. But yeah, when Joe saw that box that did have, she was like, maybe you should go. So now she's gonna get him. So what is a black person? Anyway, guys, thanks for watching this review. I know it was long. Sorry about that. Like, share, subscribe, and comment. It was long and it's a lot, but mm-hmm. yeah. Did it's you like the show, though? No. Yeah, I did. It's not stupid. It's not like a stupid Yeah, it's kind of different. It's, it's kind of different. different. It's a mixture of a lot of things, I think. It's a mixture of like a a movie, like some kind of exorcist movie where they got the entity in them and stuff, and a mixture of some like horror, horror kind of summer stuff. Film. Yeah. So it is kind of different. It's a mixture of some things. So I do like it, and I do want to see, and I do want to see what happens. So yeah. So thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time. Bye.